Let's look at some problems involving fractions uh, and radicals. We're going to start by adding and subtracting some radicals that have uh, fractions with numerical denominators. So no variables in the denominator. Our method is subtract, and if we need to, we'll simplify the result. Here's our first. plus the square root of 32 divided by 3. The 3 is not under the radical. And then we'll subtract the square root of the square root of 9 plus, well, let's see, 32, we can write that as a 16 times a 2. of 18 divided by a square root of 36. Well, let's see. Square root of 8 we can further write as a 4 times a 2, so we're finding some perfect squares. The square root of 9 plus 16 times a 2 we will extract those square roots. The square root of 4 is 2, so now we have 2 times the square root of 2, and that is divided by 3. The square root of 9 is 3, so we have 3 times the square root of 2, and then divided by 6. it there and look at 3 and 6, they're going to have a least common denominator of 6, and we need to then write these fractions with the least common denominator of 6. Each of the first two Uh, if you are inclined not to rewrite the whole line, take a color. And divided by 6. And you can see at this point we're proceeding like we have ordinary fractions, but we're hauling along a square root of 2. all divided by our common denominator of 6. Coefficients, just like you would times the square root of 2 divided by 6. Now we ask the question, can this be simple? Six divided by three is two, 